Kamusta mga ka-learners? Sana ay nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Siyempre, ipapaalala ko sa inyo maghanda ng panulat at papel o notebook. Today, we learn about identifying problems in your community. In the other lesson, you learned about the nature and purpose of a community survey. It is very important that all members of the community participate in the survey. Do you still remember the steps in conducting a survey? In this lesson, you will learn how a survey can identify the problems and needs in your community. You will also learn to classify, analyze, and draw conclusions about the data or information you have gathered from your survey. After this lesson, you should be able to Record observations of existing conditions in the community using a survey guide. Tabulate data collected through the survey. Analyze and synthesize the collected data in order to identify problems in the community. And draw conclusions about the community based on the data gathered from the community survey. This is an activity on recording information or observations in your community. Follow these instructions. 1. Get a sheet of paper and a pen. 2. On the sheet, list down your observations about your community. Base your observations on the following topics. A. Garbage disposal. For example, how do the people in your community dispose of their garbage and waste? B. Street maintenance. For example, what is the condition of the streets in your community? Record as many observations as you can. Were you able to record many observations about your community? What were these observations about? In a community survey, it is important to record all the answers of your respondents. This ensures that all members of the community have participated and have voiced their opinions and suggestions regarding the condition of your community. We must remember that the community survey aims to identify the problems and needs of the members of the community. By identifying these problems and needs, we will also be able to identify programs and services that should be made available to the residents in the community and to the community itself. The members of the community serve as a basis in identifying certain projects, programs, and services that will benefit them. These projects, programs, and services will develop and improve the condition of the community and the quality of life of its members. Here are some important tips in conducting a community survey. 1. The interviewer should plan his schedule in specific areas of the community. If he is not familiar with the community, he should have someone from the community to guide him. 2. It is important that all the items in the survey should be answered by the respondent. Three, if the respondent has questions about any item in the survey, the interviewer should give a simple and clear explanation of that item. Four, the interviewer should be attentive to the respondent during the interview. Five, the items in the survey should be explained clearly by the interviewer. In a study such as community survey, data are organized into a table or image for easy interpretation. It is easier to look at and analyze the data that has been properly arranged. When the data has been tabulated and analyzed carefully, it is easier for barangay officials to discuss the problems and needs in the community. It enables them to focus on the responses of the residents and helps them in identifying which needs should be given priority. It is important to do the following with the data you have gathered. 1. Determine the total number of respondents who participated in the survey. 
This helps you to determine the total number of responses you expect for each item in a survey. Let's say the total number of respondents is 14. 2. Tabulate or count the responses for each item of the survey. For example, item number 1. How would you rate the following services in your community? A. Excellent B. Adequate C. Inadequate D. Don't know 3. After tabulating or counting the responses, go over the responses again just to make sure of your tabulation. 4. Analyze and interpret the tabulated data. Let's look at item number 1, A. Parks. There are two respondents who say that the park services in their community are excellent, four who say they are adequate, five who say that they are inadequate, and three who say that they don't know. 5. Arrange the data based on your analysis and interpretation. The survey focuses on the needs of the community. Therefore, you should arrange your data based on the needs of the community as they are reflected by the responses of the community members. 6. Make conclusions based on the data that you have analyzed. For example, among the list of community services that the community members feel are inadequate, garbage collection is the primary concern. The secondary concern that should be addressed is street maintenance. The responses in each item must be carefully considered and weighed in order for you to understand the real needs or problems of the community. That is why it is important to first tabulate all the responses to the items in the survey. You must be able to collect and tabulate all the responses before you analyze them. The conclusions you make are the summary of the results of your survey. These give the general condition of the community and the immediate needs of the residents. For example, you have discovered from the survey that most of the residents complain about the poor street lighting in the community. You can conclude then that street lighting should be a priority in developing the community. Let's remember, the survey can identify the needs and problems of the community. Through the survey, programs and projects can be created to meet those needs. You should do the following with the data you have gathered from your survey. Determine the total number of people who participated in the survey, Tabulate your data. Go over the data once more to make sure your tabulations are correct. Analyze and interpret the data. Arrange your data according to your analysis and interpretation. Make your conclusions. You should treat each response in the survey as very important because each response reflects the condition of the community. It is the responses of the residents that will determine the needs and problems in the community that need to be addressed. That's our lesson on identifying problems in your community. I hope that you will use this knowledge to help your local government officials address what your community really needs. Kung gusto ninyong mas matuto pa, maganda din po na mag-online kayo. Mas marami pang matututunan doon. See you on the next episode. Ingat po palagi!